and the guy will tell you no. He will tell you no. Then what is there? He will tell you he said, there is a tetragrammaton. In English, he will tell you there is a tetragrammaton. So what is a tetragrammaton? You know, I have come across doctors and lawyers, professors in the Illinois University in America and asking them, anybody here who knows what is a tetragrammaton? And believe me, there was one, not one lecturer, American, who knew what it was. But it's funny, every Tom, Dick and Harry among the Jehovah's Witnesses, they know the word tetragrammaton. And you don't know? No, it's a special word. They have concocted, invented. Tetragrammaton. What is tetragrammaton? Tetra means four, and grammaton means letters. Four-letter word. Then why don't you call a four-letter word a four-letter word? Why do you have to tantalize people with a 14-letter word to tell us tetragrammaton when you say four-letter word? You know why? Because in English, when you say the four-letter word, it gives you another meaning. In my country, Lady Chatterley's Lover, a book, Lady Chatterley's Lover was banned for 20 years because of one four-letter word. I, I, I hope you can guess what I'm talking about. Four-letter word. You understand? If you don't, ask your neighbor. When the lecture is over, what is this four-letter word? They'll tell you. So, what are those four letters? It says Y H W H in Hebrew, Yot Ha Vav Ha. I said, these are consonants. Y H W H, you can't produce a sound. Without vowels, you can't produce a sound. Add the vowels, anyhow, as you like. Whatever they do, they can never get a J. Where did you get the J from? Jehovah. Where did you get the J from? J is another consonant. Add the vowels, it becomes Yahuwah. What is Yahuwah? Ya in Arabic and Hebrew means O, Ya, Hua in Arabic means He, and Hu in Hebrew means He, Yahuwah means O, He, Hu, Elohim. El in Hebrew means God, Elah in Hebrew means God, and alternative spelling Allah is here in the Bible. This one here is by Schofield, J.J. Schofield. Reverend Schofield, D.D., Doctor of Divinity, backed by nine other D.D.'s, not D.D.'s, D.D.'s. <laughs> they tell us here, first book of the Bible, Genesis, first chapter, first verse. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the word God has got a number given. You look down, down in the commentary and it'll tell you it's El, Ella, and also alternatively, a L A H. Allah. We are only telling the Christians, look, spell it as you like. But my language, I want you to try to pronounce as you ought to pronounce. A L A H is Allah, not Allah. Say, say Allah, all of you. Say Allah, Allah. Allah. Say, not Allah. But you can write A L A H, but don't say Allah, say Allah. So Allah. So it is El Ella, Jesus is crying. Allah, Allah, Lama Taraktani. He says, Oh my Allah, oh my Allah, why have you forsaken me? This is the name of God, and this is the God that Jesus worshipped. He's telling his people, Come, I will teach you how to pray. He said, Pray like this. Oh our Father, which art in heaven, yours and mine, including Judas. Judas was in the group, the traitor. He is the father of everybody, the sinner and the saint means he is the Lord, cherisher, sustainer, evolver of everybody. Oh, our Father, which art in heaven, not the Father of Jesus Christ in heaven, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Where does he claim, exclusive claim to God Almighty that he is his father? If he called him my father, his. Before he said that the first time, look at the Gospel of St. Matthew. As soon as you start chapter 1, verse 1, you start reading there and you find the expression, your father, thy father, your father, thy father, 13 times before one time he says, my father. Can you imagine? 13 times he said, God Almighty is your father. Singular. Oh, what time is it? 13 times he says, your father, thy. Thy means singular. Your means more than one, addressing more people. Your, thy father, your father, thy father, your father. Thirteen times before one time he said, my father. But 
Amazing. People only see the one time and they don't see the 13. He says, come brothers, come let us reason together and inshallah we'll find a way of understanding each other's points of views. You don't have to be converted, you don't have to convert us, we won't convert you, we can't convert. Nobody can really convert. This is in the hands of God. But at least we can understand each other's points of views so we become more tolerant. Sheikh Ahmed Dittat, he's a scholar, he's a learned man. I'm not a scholar. I've studied theology for eight years, but I'm not so clever in the scriptures as is Sheikh Ahmed Dittat. So, We have come together this evening to, um, to meet each other. And I'm, I'm not interested in convincing you to Christianity, trying to convert you. We worship one God. And Ahmed. He has precisely shown us where this God is crying out his name on the cross, Eli Ali, Allah, Allah. We worship the same God, but we are different. We express ourselves in a different language. And Christianity is much more ancient than Jesus Christ. Because Christianity has taken from heathen a lot of rituals, the two sacraments in the Bible, in the New Testament, for us Protestants are the baptism to be baptized to Jesus Christ, to his death, in order to become resurrected with him at the end of the days. Because he will surely come to us and lead us to the other side. This is our belief. He is our savior. And because Christ is not created like things, like animals, he is created and is 